We all know why we're here. So let's just get into it. Today, 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 uh, we are going to start by ripping apart the engine. We're not gonna go to the extreme that we did on the pickup. We're simply going to take the head off, rebuild it, and slap it back on with a new head gasket. Our goal is to get the inspection complete on the car so that I can get it registered and get tags on it. And then once we're done with that, I'll come back and work on each system in a bit more detail. cylinder head off of the engine. I've gone ahead and I've fully disassembled it. I've cleaned it. I've pushed all the valve guides out. I've taken all of the springs and valves and cam followers out and fully cleaned them as well. And everything is ready to go back together. The first thing I need to do is install these back into the head. And for that, I'm going to use my lathe and turn this into a press tool. It's 10 millimeter aluminum rod. The outside of this diameter is 10 millimeters and the, and the valves are 8 millimeters. So if I turn this down to 8 millimeters, it'll slide right in and then I'll be able to use my press to press all 8 new valves in. After that, got to put the valve seals on and then I can install the valves and throw this back on the engine. That didn't work. Let's try a steel one. Before I bolted the cam and cover back on, I needed to remove the remaining oil water mix that was in the engine. I started by draining the oil pan and letting it drip overnight. And then I poured cheap oil into the engine and used a drill to spin the oil pump. And I ran that until it came out clean. Now 
I only used about four quarts of oil in this process, so it wasn't too wasteful about the amount of oil in an oil change. And this method allowed me to check that all the oil came out of the correct passages. Once I was confident that I got all of the water out of the engine, I dropped the camshaft on, bolted it down, dropped the oil guard on, and then bolted down the cover. And like that, we have the head back on and most of the engine bolted back together. The problem was when I took the head off, the exhaust system literally crumbled off of the car. So we're going to end the video here. I've always been interested in what it would take to build an entirely custom exhaust system. So we're gonna get into that in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a couple friends. I do enjoy hearing from you all in the comment section, so leave a comment or a critique. Just remember to be nice. And last but not least, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already so that we can hit that 10,000 subs by the end of 2022. That'll be it for this one. See you in the next one. Bye. Hello and welcome to my secret lab. <laughs>